And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the introductions. Introducing first, standing to my left, fighting out of the red corner, representing Stockade Martial Arts, this is Devin Hammond! And her opponent, standing to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Church Street Boxing, this is Jay Salvaratiha! Back in action on Friday Night Fights. Brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Two amateur women squaring off right now in the first of a scheduled three rounds. Jay Salvarieta comes in at five and three with a one and zero record. She's taking on the taller Devin Hammond who makes her amateur debut tonight. Aria Lagami with Phoenix Carnivale ringside in Lower Manhattan to check out this apparent slugfest in the early going here. What I like about Jay is that she's bringing her hands right back to her face. So even though uh, Devon is trying to counter with that high head kick, her hands are right by her head. So she's been able to, holy moly, a panel the just, ceiling just fell down. A dangerous moment here as a panel fell out of the ceiling at Broad Street Ballroom, landed right in the middle of the ring. And these two women, so focused, they did not even they stop fighting. They didn't notice. And luckily, Joel... <laughs> Joel just picked it up and threw it out, and these guys kept going. Jay, again, doing a good do job of being on the attack and being busy and staying in her fighting range. Again, the seven-inch difference in height between these two ladies. Salvietta and the red trunks with the black top, five foot three. Trying to get inside of Devin Hammond, who's five foot ten. We're in the black and blue trunks with the purple top. Salvietta, one and zero. Oh. Hammond making her debut. Yeah, she's staying busy. What she's doing is she's going up top, through the middle, and then to the bottom. So you see how that was a leg kick, now back to the head, and then if she's smart, she's gonna throw something low. Salvarietta. There we go, oh, there was that low kick. Salvarietta undaunted by the early attack from the longer Devin Hammond. Salvarietta's been the aggressor with round one moving ahead. Yeah, so she's, she's not letting her get too much into the middle of the ring because that is where she can use her range. So Jay is just kind of staying on top of her and she's mixing up her shots. She's throwing punches and bunches and adding kicks to it. And that's one thing you have to do as a smaller person. You have to be a little bit of an onslaught. Strong finish to round number one by Church Street Boxing product, Jay Salvarieta. And of course, the team there led by Jason Stroud and Chris Kwiatkowski. There's Devin Hammond, Hammond, the Ackard, New York native. Trains under the tutelage of J.J. Russo. Stockade Muay Thai up in Kingston, New York, just north of Poughkeepsie. But she makes the trip down to NYC tonight for her first ever official trip into the squared circle. And again, it looks we're, like, oh, sorry. Again, we're hoping no more, uh, nothing else comes out falling from the sky here in this fight. As we saw a panel come out of the ceiling here at Broad Street Rollum. First time for everything, I suppose. It reminded me of the Truman Show <laughs> when the light like falls out of nowhere in the middle. Well, these two ladies did not miss a beat. They kept on slugging. Ready for round number two now. Salvietta and Hammond, who you see right there. Uh, it looked like Hammond's corner was telling her to tie Jay up and basically use really, really long knees. So if she gets that close, Tie her up. Don't let her do what she's doing right now. Strong start to round two from Salvietta. Nice combination. Lower leg kick landed by Jay. Jay's really using her speed here, too. She's trying to stay very busy. All right, here we go. Hammond listened to her corner. She's trying to tie Jay up and throw big knees. And as she does that, Salvietta lands a mean right. All right now, she's got the plumb position with both hands behind the head. It's really hard to get out of that, especially if you squeeze your elbows together, you can control the head. But Jay is staying busy. She's throwing knees of her own, and she gets out. Yeah. 
Hammond has her leg kick checked away by Salvarieta. Straight left hand landed by Jay Salvarieta, and a right hand sneaks through two. She is a very busy girl. Left hook up top for Salvarieta. The New York native training for about two and a half years now. Looking One. even more polished than she did in her first fight back in June. One thing Hammond has had success with a few times is the right is the left hook. Because as Jay goes to punch, she brings her hands a little bit low on her right side. She's been able to use that hook a few times. Especially being the longer range of fighter, your hook can swat out and come in a little bit easier. If she's abandoned it though. I'd like to see her use that a little bit more. Final 10 seconds here of round number two. Salvietta closing ground on the taller Hammond. And that's the end of round number two. Take us back a little bit to your first fight, Phoenix. Do you remember what it was like when you stepped into the ring in an official bout for the first time, the, the, the nerves you were feeling, the pressure that you might have been dealing with at that time? It, it goes away the second the fight starts. Like, all you think about is fighting, fighting, fighting. So the nerves are gone the second the first punch is thrown. Well, it was for me. The, the only thing I remember was that it feels like while you're in the round, it's long as hell. And the second the fight's over, it feels like it was 30 seconds. The, the way time feels uh, is very interesting in the, in the beginning of your career. Give, as you get a look at Jay Salvarieta right there, give her opponent, Devin Hammond, a lot of credit. She's been under pressure for most of the fight as the shorter Salvarieta has tried to come inside. And Hammond has really not portrayed the, time, the kind of duress that she's been under. Here we go in round three. Body kick lands for Hammond. She doubles up on it. Another left-legged body kick for Hammond. Good start to round three. And Hammond gets those long legs caught up in the ropes. Dangerous situation, but Joel Becker resets the fighters. Devin looks to be okay. Very nice use of the leg kick for Jay. Salvarieta unloading there. Straight right through the guard by Salvarieta, but she eats some leather too from Hammond. That was a smart decision by Hammond though. While Jay is kicking you punch, you've got those long arms. Jay doing a good job of checking the kicks too. Again, she uses that, that right leg low kick effectively. Salvarieta with laser focus on the bigger target in Devin Hammond. Now, just, this is about footwork here too because she gets on the inside and she uses her movement and her footwork to come in. And as she's coming in, she moves her head a little bit and sways from side to side, so she's not so much of a moving target, which is also very good. There was a straight right that landed through Hammond's guard. Final 30 seconds of this three round affair. Between Devin Hammond out of Stockade Muay Thai in Kingston, New York, and Jay Salvarieta out of Church Street Boxing just a few blocks from where we are right now at the Broad Street Ballroom in Manhattan. Yeah, when, see, when she wants to take her time to breathe, she'll move out a little bit. She'll take a few breaths and then come back in when she's ready to strike, and that's also been working for her too. Final 10 seconds here. Both fighters trying to finish strong. And that's it. We go the distance. Salvarieta and Hammond embrace. Great sportsmanship as always on Friday Night Fights. And an exciting bout. Salvarieta thinks she has this one soon to be added to the win column. Good fight, Salvarieta with the significant height disadvantage, but she was the aggressor throughout the three rounds. 
Hicks. He was un, undeterred by the long reach of Devin Hammond. Did some significant work on the inside and also to the outer leg of Devin Hammond, the left leg, the lead leg of Devin, Ham Devin, Devin Hammond was also under attack for much of this fight. And there is Hammond, the Ackard New York native, all smiles after her amateur debut. Just 25 years of age. She had no problem going the three rounds. We'll see how the judges score this one. Let's go up to Larry Legend with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, this last bout sponsored by Mohegan Sun. Mohegan Sun, a world at play. At the end of three hard fought rounds, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout as a result of judges' unanimous decision, the blue corner, Jay Salvaratia. So Jay Salvrieta scores the unanimous decision victory and does the Church Street Boxing team proud once again. Jay is now 2-0 as an amateur. You're watching Friday Night Fights.